Oh, oh that's heavy. Ricardo Mauricio. Well, he looks OK, thank goodness. And there's flames there, he's going to have to get out quickly. Look at it. Get out, my friend. Well, she was in very quickly, thank goodness. Oops. And uh, that could have been uh, a lot nastier. Everybody doing their job properly, and uh, thankfully he's in a safe part uh, of the circuit. Already uh, run through those blocks. Let's have a look at it. Whoa! Airborne! Goodness me! That was a lot heavier than we thought. Stupid mistake, self-inflicted, I'm afraid. Dear, oh dear. Well, you've just been speaking about his problems a little bit earlier, and uh, dear, oh dear, he was, well, he was lucky to get away with uh, not mm. hurting himself or somebody else. Yeah, yeah, he was. That was, that was uh, well, as I said, the lap before, he, he was having trouble in the braking area, not knowing his limits. I mean, you, you, you have to allow for the fact that when you're behind the car, you've got even less downforce than you normally have. There's low downforce here at Monza anyway. And when you're in the hole that someone else is making, you've got to allow for that and brake even earlier than normal. Poor old Nyan, beaten up, I have to say. Yeah, yeah. it was an innocent party there. I think uh, Mauricio got, got uh, the red mist came down because Newman obviously gone past him. So the safety car is out here, and uh, I can only hope that we can get things uh, cleared up. Yes, we certainly will be. We will be racing again before the end, but... Uh, Nobody hurt, thank goodness, and uh, it could well have been a very, very different story. Dear, oh dear, is this board A? No, my no, mistake. It's one of the Durango cars. It is it? one of the Durangos, yeah. Dear, oh dear. Spirifico and Tocicello, I think, isn't it? Yes, if it had been board A, it would have been into anger. He's broke, <laughs> broken his track rod, he broke his front right track rod. He on, did. Uh, Spirifico's car, so he's out. They're both out. They are. Safety car still with us well two late pieces of uh, action in this race as uh, i think we'll still have around three laps remaining that was a heavy hit it's interesting to see whether they actually uh, clear up the mess to, to restart the race because if they do that that will give pantano his chance and equally it'll give enger his chance to get past um Pitonia. Everybody and it allowed Borde to close up to Anger, so it could exactly. be quite exciting. <laughs> they will Constantina together at the restart, and uh, we really will have a grand finale to this season. Wow. He was very lucky if that had uh, gone over the barrier. Well, he was lucky that he took a roll, actually, and didn't just come flat down on top as well. Mm. You know, there's all, well, there's all kinds of permutations, aren't there, when you see things like that, and I expect he's running through them all in his mind at this very moment. I'm sure Dr. Marco was... Uh, had his decision to pack it all in, indoors by that. Goodness me, look how uh, juicy that was. Yeah, yeah, erupted a fuel line by the look of it. A lot of energy in there, uh, acting like that. So, here we are, and... Uh, where's Bourdain? Yeah, you would have thought they were closed up by now. I'm just counting them through, uh, and uh, we have had a good leap period here. Plenty of time to catch up, certainly. Yes, it's been yeah. doing, yeah. Seems strange. Safety car out then. Uh, we're looking at the leading four and just waiting for the rest of the field to uh, catch up. Um, there, wasn't a, uh, there wasn't any pictures of uh, debris on the track and anyone else going through it. Race order, here we go. Verdheim, Pantana, Pizzoni, Enger. Borde's disappeared. I can only think ah. that he's uh, picked up uh, something. Perhaps he went through some debris. But they, they were behind him. They were behind him. I don't know what has happened to Borde. Could have picked up a puncture as they went through the second time. Possibly. You know, the carbon fibre shards on the, on the track. Sebastian Borde, the championship leader, is not registered. Uh, we were waiting to see him. He, there he is, he's out. Borde is out, and that is a very, very sad end to a season for Sebastian Borde. He has been a fantastic competitor this season. Not writing him off yet, of course, because anything can happen here. But uh, you can bet that uh, they will be nursing their cars home, the leaders. Sebastian Borde is out here in Monza. We didn't see the accident, but uh, poor old Sebastian. It's a shame to go out like it that. It is a shame, yeah. He's been, uh, a good, like you said, a good competitor all season. Been very quick, very impressive. He has, he's has, he has had a good season, it's just to be fair. It's, it looks like he's not going to win the title now, unless uh, Pantano and Enger both go off. But uh, he has been impressive all year. And... Uh, you shouldn't feel too disappointed not to uh, not to wrap it up. He will be back, yeah, for absolutely. sure, absolutely. and a great future ahead of him. And uh, the French public is starting to warm to him as well. There was uh, naturally, as all racing drivers will tell you, oh, pace car lights are off. Let's get ready for a uh, restart here. He did have some uh, funding problems, not quite uh, round yet. Did have some funding problems, uh, but uh, 
he seems to have picked himself up uh, in terms of the funding of late has been warmed to by the uh, by the French public and uh, will be racing next year yeah I think they regard him as a kind of uh Quite a quiet kind of, kind of chap. Do you know he's actually known in France as the school swat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the glasses don't help with that. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> Maybe that's what it yeah. is. So it looks like we're going to have one lap remaining after the pace car goes in there. Well, we've seen as that we before. did in Hungary, yeah. Yep. Hill coming in. And one lap sprint. One lap sprint. Uh, I, don't, I don't agree with. I think uh, one lap is just asking for trouble. Well, it's a bit unfair, it has to be said, for those that have really it worked is, hard to uh, put some space between themselves. And uh, coming round, has got to be right up with Verdheim going into the first corner. That's where he's going to have to do it. And we're racing here, and I don't Enger. Think he is. It's not close enough. Enger has got himself into position, has he? No. And uh, Pantano has uh, got the jump. 